Howdy folks, welcome to another beautiful day out here in West Vancouver. It's 7 p.m. on a Thursday and we finally have summer. It was like I was getting a little bit despondent. I thought we were never going to get summer. The sun is still sitting right up there and it's a beautiful day out here at the beach. Very busy as well, check it out. It's like lots of people swimming, kids playing in the water. You've got um, guys on a little, what do you call it, a stand up paddle board. Yeah, it's just a generally cool day out here at the beach. Everybody's enjoying the summer, finally. Well, I hope it stays summer though, because um, over here we know that the, it can change fairly quickly, right? Let me put you guys over there. So yeah, that's it. Here we are on the beach on a Thursday, on a Thursday and it's beautiful out here. I'm going to go in the water. I'm going to go swim now. I brought my new camera, the like action cam, waterproof camera, so I can actually take some footage in the water. Although I see the water looks a little bit dirty today. Not sure why. Oh, well, because I think the t the, there's bigger waves as well. It's all coming down this way. So yeah, kids' school, of, when, when's the school closing, Belinda? Next week. Next week, Thursday. Although, I mean, Connor says today is the last day that he's going to go to school. He's, um, he reckons it's done. There's nothing more there to do. He's submitting his final stuff tomorrow, his final work. And then um, Monday is just other nonsense. So he's not too bothered. He's not going to school, and I don't think Angelique's going to be doing much, so they're just well, all going to chill. Even the teachers said they don't have to come Monday if they don't want to. Oh, really? So the teachers said they don't have to come if they don't want to. So I guess, guess what my kids are going to do? Not go. Oh, no, Angelique actually said she's going. It's, not, it's so weird how different the kids are, eh? I mean... So tonight on the beach, there's a get together for all of the grade 12s, you know, all the graduates. They've got this big get together here on the beach. It's like a social thing. Um, I mean, they're not allowed to drink. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a few s sneaky drinks. But anyway, kids. so it's, it's like a big social thing for all the grade 12s and some of the grade, you know, that's the main thing. Angelique is coming. She's grade 11. She hasn't been invited. She's coming to the get-together. Connor, who's one of the graduates, he's like, nah, he's playing games. He's not going to come through. It's like... So my daughter, we can't keep away from the social. And my son, we can't get to the social. We actually begged him to come out and just come and have a bit of fun with his friends. Amazing how different the kids are. Yeah, but see, his friends are also in front of their computers. So yeah, yeah, his friends are with... also sitting there. Yeah. And we're like, dude, you're just almost 18. It's time you got to go out and be naughty and, you know, have a sneaky beer or vodka or, like, you know, just, like, chase a few girls and do things like that. Not interested. Playing games crazy anyway it is what it is I guess for the rest not much else we're gonna try and get some Sun this summer try and get out here as often as possible because um, I don't know how long this is gonna last I mean yesterday was actually the middle of summer believe it or not so yesterday was summer solstice it's when the sun reached its farthermost northern point so yesterday was the longest day and now it's starting to go down again it's starting to go days are getting shorter and we are basically on our way back to winter and it's like really the first proper summer day yeah. <laughs> it was yesterday i guess so so yeah Ridiculous. Yeah, this year we didn't have a solid summer. Although they, everybody, I uh, see BC is advertising quite hectically everywhere about um, the drought and the shortage of water. It's almost unfathomable to think that there's a water shortage around here. But then again, as far as I know, uh, what did somebody say last time we spoke about it? That they don't have big enough um, reservoirs for the population so if there's no water it actually runs out very quickly 
Oh, did you pick up a quarter? Yeah. There you go, it's your lucky day, Belinda. Indeed. Belinda found a quarter on the beach. Yeah. Oh, look at the big boat coming in. It's like a, a cargo oil tanker or grain tanker or something. Check it out. And the dude with his little paddle board standing out there, and the big ship and the little boat. It's actually, it's so cool out here. Anyway, we're doing another braai on Saturday, down in the park. Our first proper summer braai, I guess. So we're gonna um, do that on Saturday. Got a few people coming over. Um, not much else to report really, is there? Melinda? No, not really. How's the new job going? Busy, training, learning new things. <laughs> How's your office, baby? My office is cool. So Belinda kicked Connor out of his old gaming room and moved him into the downstairs um, storage. He's now set his gaming room up there. And Belinda... Poor boy. Belinda made her office, his, or his old gaming room, her new office. So that's actually working out quite cool. I had to because the upstairs get very hot and the downstairs get very cold and he prefers the cold. And you prefer the heat. And I prefer the And you don't want to sit close to me. Can you believe it? She doesn't want to sit no, close to me. No, you're too noisy. I'm too noisy, you say. Really? <laughs> Any which way. Yeah, so... Um, We've got all of that going on and Belinda has been getting her training done and she's been getting her stuck into the new job. But also the new job means we're not, we don't have any leave up soon, so we're not going anywhere this summer, right? Yeah, I need to still find out about that. Yeah, interesting, you know, it's exploring finding out how the new work turns out and all of that. It's interesting. Not much else to chat about really, I don't think. It's just um, relaxed and easy out here on the beach. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go in the water now and I'll take some footage from down there. Uh, with my brand new camera, which I'm going to add on to this video, so you guys can check that out. But until then, I'm just going to sign off. All right, folks, so it's time to go for a swim. It's quarter to eight. We were just joking about it. Me and Belinda go to sleep at nine at night, so it's almost time to go to bed. And look at it, it is still very bright and sunny out. All right, so hopefully this swim is going to wake me up and we can test the new action cam and see how it works in the water. Beaches haven't calmed down, it's still very busy. Wonder if the water is much warmer. I doubt it. Oh, still cold. But, cool. Oh, it's a little dirty. Did I forget my car keys in my pocket again? No. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's not as cold as it is in the mornings. Alright, I'm going to let the camera go for a little bit because I wanted to check if the new floating handle works. So just hang, bear with me. Oh. Alright, it does. It works. <laughs> The new floating handle works and the lens cap works, it discards all of the water immediately, so this is quite cool. I mean, this is not Durban's ocean, I can tell you that much. It is pretty cold, I guess, this is a lot like um, Loberg. Don't know what the water temperature is, I must actually get a, um, must actually get a thermometer so I can check it out. But yeah. So, a quick dip. Oh, 
Ooh. I'm making it worse. All right. Hey, it's Belinda. It is so cool out here on the beach, just sitting and having a chat. But anyway, yeah. yeah, the water is still cold. Still feels like a cold plunge to me, to be honest. But anyway, I am getting used to it. All right. So just a quick dip to cool down and hopefully wake up a little bit. Seems like the camera works well. I'm gonna head out. Wow. So check today they do have um, these buoys around. So I think today they actually put a swimming, they demarcated the swimming area. And there's even a lifeguard chair, although I see it's just little kids playing on it. I haven't actually seen a lifeguard around here just yet. Anyway. Well, Alright folks. I'm going to sign off. And my pretty wife is also going to sign off. <laughs> One last view of the beach. Busy, busy beach. Alright, you all have a good one.